and welcome back to Rick's Kits. Here we are, we are at the final of the Fat Fenders, Fins and Chrome group build hosted by Rob at Time Machine Scale Models. And here is my final on my 59 Cadillac Eldorado. Um, I know that looks blue. Actually, it's 102 cobalt green. Tell me a paint. And I had to say that because I have so many comments saying that it's a nice blue color. <laughs> green. I don't know what it is with my lighting. Bright lights and bowl lights and some other reason just comes out blue. I suppose it possibly in the uh, probably a blue base in that green, and I can't get it to look like what it looks like. Anyway, she's complete. She's finished. Absolutely beautiful kit. Really is a beautiful kit to go together. There is so many parts in that kit. It's it's amazing. It is amazing. I've used bare metal foil for chrome work. And I used a um oh god an LP um Tamir LP silver for the stainless stroke aluminium uh, for no reason it um it's actually dried flat quite unusual. Everything in here is out of the kit. There's no add-ons, and there are a couple of little painting mistakes. And like I said, anything, any mistakes on here are all mine. Nothing to do with the kit at all. Uh, the paint went down really well, as far as I was concerned. And like I said, the quality of the uh, model itself, everything just sits together really nicely. Um, yeah, so let's do from underneath. The underneath is all complete. So we got the uh, bare metal four on the side, and I did focus. The El Dorado on the sides, both sides got the El Dorado done. The center of the wheels have got focusing or not. Cadillac emblem on the wheels. The wheels do rotate. They're stickers, not decals. Um the interior is green and white. White steering wheel. A little, as you can see here in the back, it highlighted here and here. I don't see a bit of warpage in the kit, which I didn't notice until I put that screen on and I'm a bit, ooh, you know, a bit eaved off. So, yeah, we've got a slight problem. The only real problem with the kit I can say is that uh, it had a little bit of warpage back in the shop. On our move. Got those autumn bullet tail lights, bullet tail lights, and the big old fins on the back. Makes this car stand out. One of those, one of those iconic classics. I think there. I would say that the Rolls Royce, the ultimate car of English luxury than this Cadillac the ultimate American luxury others may have a different opinion on that one but then again that is my opinion uh, so the engine remember in the last video I still had like about 
18, 20 pieces to put in the engine. Oh. There it is. Shock a block with detail and plastic. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. But yeah. That's my beauty for this group build. Happy, most I say, mostly happy with the way it's gone together, apart from the annoying body issue there. That's it. Thank you for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers, old and new. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you subscribing to the channel, and I appreciate your support very much. Um, next video. I'm looking at is uh, the group build for Yakima Marcus World Vehicles in Military and I will be doing the SAS Pink Panther Land Road has one figure in it uh, so I'm looking forward to that one and then I noticed there's a couple of other group builds that will be coming up in the beginning of January that I potentially will be taking part in anyway like I said thanks again thanks for watching thanks for your support I'll see you in the next one bye for now